What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some strong loadouts to use on each character to easily solo the Legend version of the Scavenger's Den Lost Sector. The first thing we will look at are the modifiers for this Lost Sector. As always, for Legend Lost Sectors we have Match Game, Extra Shields, Locked Loadout, and Limited Revives. This is a Fallen Lost Sector so we have Barrier Servitors and Overload Captains. The Fallen modifier in this Lost Sector is Scorched Earth, which means enemies will throw grenades significantly more often. The Destination modifier is Memory of a Bygone Past, which increases Arc and Knockback damage. This Lost Sector only has Arc Shields to deal with. And finally, it has Solar Burn, which increases solar damage by 50% both dealt and received. That is all you need to know for this Lost Sector, so let's take a look at the builds. The first build we will cover today is on the Hunter. As is a trend on this channel, I'm running Top Tree Night Stalker, Way of the Trapper. We have Marksman's Dodge on to reload our weapons whenever we dodge. This is very handy when running Xenophage because it takes an eternity to reload. And we have the 6 Coyote Exotic Chest Piece on to gain a second dodge charge. We also have 100 Mobility so that we have a very fast dodge cooldown. For the armor mods, we have a full Solar Warmind Cell build on. Wrath of Rasputin allows our Xenophage to make Warmind Cells. And then we have Rage of the Warmind and Burning Cells to add solar damage to the Warmind Cells so that our cell explosions can create even more Warmind Cells. And then we have Global Reach for a greater damage radius and Fire Team Medic to heal us when we blow up our cell. This Lost Sector has a lot of adds so I highly recommend a Warmind Cell build. We also have Machine Gun Finders, Scavengers and Reserves on to keep our Xenophage full of ammo as we will be using it a lot. And on our class item we have Breach and Clear which allows our Grenade Launcher to debuff enemies. We have the Salvager Salvo Arc Grenade Launcher for Ad Clear and Arc Shields, and the Extraordinary Rendition SMG for Stunning Overload Captains. That is it for the build, let us take a look at the run. This Lost Sector has quite a few adds in it, but they are all gathered into three pretty small rooms. So the strat for every room is to take out as many adds as you have to to get a safe shot on one of the champions. Once you have your opportunity, debuff the champion with your grenade launcher, and then delete it with Xenophage. This will cause a Warmind Cell to spawn, which you can shoot to take out most, if not all of the remaining enemies in that room. An added bonus is the Warmind Cells will destroy the trip mines that you face in the caves leading to the next room. Next up we have the Titan build. For this build we have on Bottom Tree Sunbreaker, Code of the Siege Breaker. We have the same Warmind Cell build as the Hunter with the 4 Solar Warmind Cell mods and Global Reach. And once again we have Breach and Clear on to debuff champions. 
The grenade launcher of choice here is the Wither Horde, and we are pairing it with a solar rocket launcher. So the strat is the same as before. Debuff a champion and delete it with a rocket. We have on rocket launcher finders and scavengers, and we have concussive dampener and sniper damage resistance for survivability. For our primary, we have the Ikelos SMG for spawning warmind cells and dealing with arc shields. That is it for the build, let us take a look at the run. One thing to note is that my rocket launcher shot is absolutely horrible in this run. I crutch tracking rockets a lot, so please forgive me. I wish Pyroclastic Flow was never sunset, because it had built-in tracking like my favorite rocket launcher royal entry. So don't let my run fool you, this build is actually really good, I'm just bad. Another thing to note is your thermite grenades and sunspots can also spawn more mine cells, but I do a bad job of showing that here as well. Hopefully you can use this build much better than I did. Lastly we have the Warlock build. For this build we are on Middle Tree Stormcaller, the Attunement of Control. We are running the Exotic Boots Geomag Stabilizers for a longer Chaos Reach Super. And once again we have a full Warmind Cell build on. But instead of Fireteam Medic we have Warmind's Protection. I would almost ditch Burning Cells for Fireteam Medic, but that is up to you. We have the Seventh Seraph Officer Revolver on for overloading captains and spawning Warmind Cells. We have Ariana's Vow for dealing with the Barrier Servitors. If it is a Lost Sector with Solar Burn, Ariana's Vow is almost a no-brainer. And lastly, we have the Heavy Solar Grenade Launcher, Outrageous Fortune for applying the Breach and Clear debuff. And thanks to Wrath of Rasputin, it can also spawn Warmind Cells. Lastly, we can deal with the Arc Shields with our melee or our grenades. 
That is it for the build. Let us take a look at the run. So my runs for this lost sector were from about 2 minutes and 45 seconds to 4 minutes. Not bad times at all, but a lot of that is because I am high light. Two of my builds didn't even have on anti-barrier weapons, and I crushed warmind cells for all three of my builds. I will now show a run with double primary weapons. I have a Fatebringer on with overload hand cannon, and an anti-barrier scout rifle using the eternal blazon which is arc for the arc shields, and then I have the exotic xenophage. I don't rely on warmind cells in this run, and it takes just under 6 minutes. I wanted to put this in here to show strats that you can use if you are lower light because you won't be able to melt the champions as fast as I showed in my previous builds. Hopefully this shows you how you can do this lost sector without a super strong warmind cell build as well. And lastly, I wanted to show how you can shoot the trip mines in the cave out, just in case some of you weren't aware. So I hope this helps. Overall, this isn't the best lost sector to farm in my opinion. Can you farm it? Yes, for sure. But the solar burn makes the boss hit very hard, and the barrier servitors shielding tons of adds can make this lost sector a pain to deal with. But in any event, I hope this video helps you clear this lost sector, no matter what character you are on and no matter what your light level is. And if it did, then a like would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads in the future. Lastly, if you have any other loadout suggestions that you like to use, drop them in the comments as they may help someone out. But that is it from me. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Happy Lost Sector Farming Guardians, and take care.